Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is the set game pause node? Let's go ahead and run our example here. I have stuff happening. I have a little physics object bouncing, and I have a timeline object timelining. We have our game time. This is basically our time in the game. And then we have our tick delta, how much each frame is taking. If I hit a pause button, we're going to notice a couple things. Let's go ahead and open up our graph and look at what we're doing here. We're going to debug what we're doing. So here we have our tick. And if you notice, our tick is running. When we go back to our game, you'll notice our game is paused though. Our game time, which is a counter of our game time running, is stopped. But our tick delta is still running. Our objects have stopped simulating. Our timeline has stopped timelining. I can't do keyboard input because I have no input multiplier. And I can't do mouse movement. But our tick is still running. So that is something to keep in mind with pausing a game. And if we unpause, everything will continue and our game time will continue. So let's go ahead and look at this. This one's pretty simple. You have a node called set game paused. If we were to type game paused, we're going to find two nodes is game paused and set game paused and they're pretty simple is game paused returns back a boolean value of if the game is paused or not set game paused by default has an execute in and an execute out and you're going to toggle the pausing on or off that's it that's what it does now game pausing itself is not too complex, but basically it will stop. It's going to basically set the dilation of the game to zero, but not using the dilation. It's just going to tell things to not do anything. Event ticks are still going to fire, but physics will stop and timelines will stop. Things that rely on time, the, the, the delta, the global delta time, the item that basically when we're running our game, we have a 33 tick here globally right here whenever this fires off our frame fires and it uses this value to do something how much we move during our timeline how much friction we apply during our bounce how much does my mouse move how much does my character move when we pause anything that does that that uses our global movement multiplier basically is going to stop working so the game is going to be paused now, if you notice, we still have input. I can adjust things like my global time dilation using UMG. And of course, I can pause and unpause. That is basically what the game pause nodes do. It's going to pause the game globally. Now, there are ways of allowing things to run while they are paused. As you notice, the tick itself still ran. That is covered separately in a different video. But for now, if you want to basically do a simple pause in a game, you use the set game paused node. And if you want to see if something's paused, you can do the is game pause node. 